How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be going over how to use the world guard API. So the World Guard API is pretty awesome. It can allow you to do a couple things like utilize uh, regions, protect regions, um, you know, stuff that you can pretty much do uh, right inside World Guard. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download World Guard. You can just go ahead and Google spigot.worldguard. I'm not really going to show you how to do that. Uh, also, all the code will be available to you guys on GitHub. So go over there and check it out. But the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go inside of our pack or inside of our project here. We're just going to do Control Shift Alt S to open up our project structure. And we're just going to go ahead and click plus and do jars and then we just find your jar here. I've already done it here to save a little bit of time. And then the first thing we have to do here is we're just actually uh, let me tell you what we're going to make. We're just going to make a simple plugin um, that notifies you with a title every time you uh, enter into a region. And now you could do this so uh, say players can have access to protecting regions. Um, you can do this so whenever they enter somebody's region, it will send them. A message saying you have entered so and so's um, you know property region whatever so first thing we need to do though is we need to go ahead and basically instance our our, our world our world guard plugin so we're just gonna say public world guard plugin and we're just going to uh, call this git world guard and the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and say insta plugin plugin equals this dot git server dot git plugin manager dot git plugin and we need to get world guard okay next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and say say if plugin equal equals null or that's not the or or if a plugin is not instance of world guard plugin and if it isn't we want to go ahead and say return null or, and, and if it is we want to just go ahead and say return world guard plugin plugin okay so basically what we do there is we just got we just went ahead and set world guard to we basically just set world guard so now we can call this method and we can get access to world guard so if we wanted to we can make a public uh like world guard world guard plugin up here or well, we can make it private whatever so we can make a public world guard plugin and we can go ahead and say world guard plugin and then in our on enable what we can actually do is we can go ahead and say uh let's just get rid of this because we don't need that what we can say is um, world guard plugin equals equals get world guard and now it oops I don't know I always do that and it will assign world guard plugin to the world guard it will assign get world guard to world guard plugin so what we can do now is we're going to need to create a couple things before before we quite get started here so we're just going to go ahead and say private and we want an array list of players and I know they say you shouldn't use uh, players but to be honest I haven't really had any issues with it so we're going to call this entered we're going to say new array list and we'll go ahead and import player go ahead and duplicate this and this will be left Okay, so now what we can do is we can go ahead and create our method here, which sort of uh, handles uh, the regions here. So we can go ahead and say public void enter region, that's what we'll call it, and we need a player and a player. And then what we want to do is we want to just go ahead and say local player. And this is just going to be local player equals world guard plugin dot get player 
oops, not not get player, sorry, rat player, and it's going to be player. So now we have the world guard version of player. I don't know why I keep doing that. So now we have the world guard version of the player. Next thing that we have to do is we have to go ahead and basically get a vector, which is just going to be player vector, and this is just going to be local player dot get position. It's, it's their position basically. Oh, we also need to import world edit. I am so stupid. So we need world edit as well on here. In this, you don't need to set anything up for. You don't need to create any methods for that. So we can go ahead and say that import. And now we have the world edit vector. There we go. But just make sure uh, in your plugin.yml, you can go ahead and add the depends. That way the plugin won't launch uh, if the plugin's not on the server. I don't ever really worry about that because it's you don't really need to do it. Um, it's just sort of a, a way that you can do it so that way you know for sure it's not launching. Uh, and then we just want to go ahead and say region manager, region manager equals world guard plugin dot get region manager. And it's going to be for player dot get world. So it's going to get all of the regions in the world that the player is in. Then the next thing we want to do is we want to go so go ahead and say applicable region set. And we will say applicable region set equals region manager dot get applicable regions. And this is going to be for the player vector. So now it's going to get whatever region the player is in. And why does my settings keep coming up? So now it's going to get whatever region the player is in. So what we can say now is we can say for protected region regions and this is just going to be applicable region set so now whenever a player is inside of a region it's going to do something here so we'll just make a simple system dot out dot well I guess we'll just go ahead and finish this for now so the next thing we're gonna do here is we need to say if <coughs> region dot contains um, if it contains player vector, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and say if entered does not, so if entered does not contain player, we will go ahead and say try. And we'll just go ahead and get that catch down there. We'll just say exception E. So we'll go ahead and say try. And what we need to try is we need to go ahead and say left dot remove player. And then we want entered dot add player. And then we want string owners. And this is going to be for regions dot get owners dot to player string next thing we want is we want to I guess we can just play a sound so player dot play sound and this is going to be at player dot get location and we want the sound dot uh Oh, the sound's not there anymore. I guess we'll do sound.chicken egg. I was looking for the sound.chicken egg pop. And then we'll do one, one. Then the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and create some titles. So packet play out title. Title equals new packet play out title. We want enum title. Oops. We want enum action title. I'm not sure why it's doing that. I don't need that. That's very weird. All right. Well, I guess we'll just I guess we'll just do that for now. So packet that play out title. And you know, I don't really feel like doing it with a title. Um, I don't really feel like doing chat serializer, so we'll just go ahead and say player dot 
send message and we would just say check color dot green plus now entering and then we'll do another message here blue and this is going to be owners plus comma house or property proper to leave okay and that's that's pretty much it inside of our enter region so now what we need to do is we need to do a couple things here we need to go ahead and do a public void quit event player quit event event and we just need to go ahead and say player player equals event dot get player and then we want to say is if entered that contains player or left dot contains player we want to go ahead and say left dot remove player enter dot remove player so now it's going to remove them whenever they leave the server and then the next thing we need to do is well we need to go ahead and say uh, event handler those might help and then we need to go ahead and say implements listener and we will fix all this in a second then we need to just go ahead and say public void move event player move event event and we want player player equals event dot get player and then we're just going to simply just go ahead and say enter region player okay so now we just need to go ahead up here and say this dot get server dot get plugin manager dot register events and this is just going to be this this events there we go so now let's go ahead and export this so let's launch up minecraft here and we want tutorial and we want to go ahead and as soon as this loads there so we'll go ahead and click run well first we'll see if it loads make sure everything there is correct go ahead and launch our server here okay so I fixed it I was doing the I was doing the right thing but I was just missing one step so we actually had to go ahead and create a UUID from the string that we we created here because what I was doing before is I was trying to find a player with the name of my entire UUID so now if we go ahead and enter here we can go ahead and see now entering link db6 property and now this will only work if there's owners so if there's no owners this will not work so you could actually go ahead and create a quick check uh, inside the code there to see if owners equals null or size equals zero um, it doesn't just get who who define the region um, so you gotta make sure that you add owners so if you have um, a server and you have maybe a command or you give them a wand that sort of just does it or when they run a command it does everything for them you need to go ahead and make sure that you go ahead and add an owner but that is all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. Once again, all of the code will be available to you guys on GitHub. So go over there and check it out. But like I said, that's all I got for you guys. So thank you so much for watching.